Hey Stig, any insect infestation or rodents on those jets? Well, this is actually a really interesting topic. What you're seeing there is an armrest that's assembled and underneath the armrest looks like a big mess, doesn't it? Trust me when I tell you most of these areas are not accessible to people, but dirt and grime finds its way down there. Now the airplane does not produce this trash or dust. Guess who does? That's right, you guys, the flying passenger. There are passengers that are courteous and there are passengers that are not very courteous. They will leave a mess. Whether it just be negligence or by accident, which happens all the time, not a big deal. You spill something, you spill something. Don't worry, we have cleaning crews just for that. But one thing you have to understand, this is food. When aircraft are parked at gates, various locations, guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna have biological organisms, such as roaches and rodents come in. Even in your lavatories, to counter this and to prevent any kind of infestation, that's right, we use exactly what you use at home, roach bait. There are certain areas like this lavatory behind the trash can, there is a roach bait trap. Also, galley carts have food in them to ensure that no roaches exist, or even if they do, they get caught by the bait. Remember, once again, these aircraft get parked either overnight, various stations, and sometimes bugs get on. Jet bridges are attached to aircraft, so bugs and creepy crawlies sometimes can get on airplanes. But sorry, that's just the fact, plain fact of it. But once again, we place bait, uh, roach bait right here, as you can see. There's also rodent traps, which I'll show you in a second. Those are placed all over the aircraft, in the overhead bins, behind the panels, not in the bins themselves, as well as behind the paneling of the lavatory underneath the seat. So not only cleaning crew will do their best at cleaning the aircraft, but maintenance also has to go through at interval times and double check these rodent traps and roach bait traps. There is a time limitation on them, so when the time comes up, we will change them out and put out a new one. Here's a good example of what a rodent trap looks like. It's a very simple one. This is a equipment bay of a 321neo. Take a look at this. A very rudimentary simple rodent trap. It's a little box that we fold up and we glue down to the floor and it has adhesive in it. So if there was any rodent in here, we'd get in there and get trapped. And when we do our inspection, we look for this, we find it. Obviously we're gonna dispose of it and put a new trap down. This keeps them from basically chewing up on the wires or running rampant around the airplane. But that's about it, guys. I know it's not something really pleasant to think about, but you have to understand these are creatures. Just like me and you and everything else, they're trying to survive. That's all, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care.